Hello, it's Tyler. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if this is your first time, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing another tutorial that has been highly requested. How to make the crystal necklace from season three of H2O. A few months ago I did a tutorial on how to make the locket. I will put the link down in the description. This is going to be the easiest and cheapest way to make this. Because I love things that are cheap and easy. <laughs> Disclaimer. I am 100% sure there's a better way to do this. <laughs> All you jewelry makers out there, I'm sure you can do a much better job than me. But this is really for if you're like me and you don't make jewelry and you just want a quick cosplay or you want to make a quick one for a video or a YouTube short. Do I love this necklace? Yes. Did I die a little bit inside when Ricky and Cleo took off the lockets and put these on instead? Also, yes. No! 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 <laughs> okay, let's get into it. You will only need four items. I know, that's right four items. Item number one, scissors. Item number two, glow. Now there may be better glue to use. This is the one that I have at the moment, so I'm gonna use that. I got some waxed cotton cord. I'm pretty sure you can just use normal cotton cord as well if you like. And finally, fish tank jewels. The thing I really like about using these is that they are all different shapes. So I'm pretty sure that like no two are the same. So it means that when you buy these, you can look through and really choose the shape you want. They also come in different colors. So you can choose the shade of blue you want. I also think these were like, I want to say less than $2. They were very cheap. You can get them from like a pet store or you can get them from Walmart, Target, um, any of the above. Step one. Decide which jewel you want. I like this one. Step two, cut a piece of the cord. I'm gonna say about five inches to be safe. Step three, we are going to put some glue on either side of the top. Now what we need to do is make a little loop at the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one piece of the cord here, then I'm going to make a little loop and I'm going to stick it like this. There we go. <laughs> Step four. Now what we need to do is put more glue on each side and then we're going to wrap the cord around the top. Once you've wrapped it around like this, you can kind of bunch it together. Again, there's probably much better glue to use. The thing that I do like about this glue though is that it dries really quickly and it kind of allows you to play around with it so I can still be bunching it together, getting it kind of to the look that I want. Step five. Now you want to cut a piece of cord for your necklace. Again, I'm not really sure how to do this, so I'm just gonna guess. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's about right. So cool. The final step. You want to thread the cord through the loop. Let's try that again. Thread it through the loop. And... Ta-da! Ta-da! Yay! Now, as I said, I am sure that this is the quickest, easiest, and cheapest way to make this necklace. Does it mean it's the best way? Eh. Let me know, what do you think? I think this is a really good option if you just wanna make it really quickly for a video or just a bit of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the video down in the comments. Please also make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when I post my next video. Friends, I have had like 50,000 new subscribers in the past few days and I am blown away. Thank you so much. I love you all and I'll see you later. Bye.